This is Take-Two Movie Review. I'm Mike Friend. This week, the internet according to Disney. Years before Wreck-It Ralph, Walt Studio ventured into cyber world musings with the ambitious, abstract, and highly underrated Tron 2. With Ralph Breaks the Internet, the characters from Wreck-It leave the arcade, as they did in Tron after the first few scenes, to discover new worlds and, in this one, new things about each other. The story concerns Ralph and Vanellope, voiced again by John C. Riley and Sarah Silverman, respectively. If you didn't see the first, the two are video game characters. Vanellope's being from an obsolete, if charming, arcade racing game. When her pal Ralph is mostly responsible for breaking it, they decide to explore the new-to-them internet, specifically eBay, to find the part to fix it. Being electronic entities themselves, they are actually in the internet, and the movie's mostly a romp through it, with the challenges and opportunities like search engines, pop-ups, and online gaming being experienced by the characters in the first person. Penelope falls head over heels for a Grand Theft Auto-like game called Slaughter Race, which comes with a cast of characters, including the cooler-than-cool Shank, voiced by Gal Gadot. To raise funds for the part they need from eBay, Ralph experiences viral video stardom, but while he's doing everything to save the arcade game for his friend, it's clear that Penelope's interests are diverging. How Ralph's insecurity over this fact becomes manifest and then interacts with viruses may be one of the cooler creative excursions you've seen on a screen lately. Ralph Breaks the Internet combines a sophisticated look at an interpersonal relationship, a clever takedown of internet culture, and some pretty hilarious inside Disney self-deprecation for a ride you won't want to miss. This has been Take-Two Movie Review. I'm Mike Friend. Catch up with us at Take-Two Movie Review.com and feed us back on our page on YouTube.